Hello you two, it's Thursday and our last lesson of writing our rainbows text. Let's see what we're going to do today. Our question today is still the same. How do brilliant writers write an explanation text? We're going to start with a warm up of word changes. Then we're going to reread our work from yesterday. We're going to complete our writing and check our work. Then we're going to end by looking at some reading. Reading on a Thursday? You'll find out why soon. Let's check you've got what you need today. Have you got a pencil? Some paper? And your brain? If you need to get any of those things, put me on pause now. So for our warm up today, we have got a game of word changes. You can see here, I've got a table. One side says root word, the other side says root word and suffix. Your job is to write a list of the root word. So I've given you an example on the first line. Rems was the root word with the suffix s. Ren and s, ren. But what your job is to do is to take the suffix off and just write the root word. So the root word for that one was ren. Have a read of the list of root words and suffixes and then write your list of root words in your book. Make sure you check your spelling carefully though. Put me on pause now so you can write your list of root words. Today, we are going to be finishing our Rainbows explanation text. Yesterday, we started to write it and we wrote our title, introduction and paragraph one. Today, we're going to be completing our writing, making sure we still use when, if, that and because our conjunctions we're focusing on this week. It's really important that we use our plans for our writing. So make sure you've got your plan out now. If you need to go and find it, put me on pause. As you can see on my screen, we've already done the first three parts, yay! And today we're gonna to be working on the second paragraph, a third paragraph if you want to write one, and our conclusion. Let's have a go at doing this now. So, as we said, it's really important that we read our work back. So, I'm going to read what we wrote yesterday. How rainbows are formed. That was my title at the top. Rainbows are pretty arcs that are found in the sky. Oh, where's my full stop? People love them because they're symbols of hope. Read on to find out more about how rainbows are made. And this was my first paragraph. I missed a line from the other one. Rainbows appear when there's sunshine and rain or mist in the sky. The light splits into separate colours that include red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo and violet. I'm going to miss a line now before we start our next paragraph. I'm going to take some time quickly to read through my notes because I need to make sure that I write exactly what I want to say. And that's why we make a plan, isn't it? Now, on my notes, it says, did you know that? And it would be really nice to start this paragraph with a question. So, hmm, what could I say? I know, because I was amazed that rainbows aren't actually arcs. What are they? They're circles. So I might say, did you know that rainbows are not actually an arc. Oh, I'm gonna write that down. Did you know that rainbows are not actually an arc? So every sentence starts with A, you got it, capital letter, did. Did you, making sure my sender goes under the line, no. Oh, blow the snow, that, and we've got our word rainbows again, 
And I know you're going to be an expert at spelling this. Rainbow are not actually an arc. That's very surprising, isn't it? Question. So people are going to be quite amazed by that, but I think I need to explain a little bit more. So I'm going to use the conjunction if at the start of my sentence. I'm going to say, if you were above a rainbow, what would you see? You would see a circle. So I'm going to start by, if you were above a rainbow, because I really want to make sure I get that part correct. So capital letter, if you were, W-E-R-E for -E were, above, a rainbow. Then we said, you would see a, you got it, circle. You would, what? Oh, you lucky duck. Let's get our spellings correct for wood. See a circle. That circle is a tricky one to spell. Let me check it. C I R C L E. Brilliant. If you were above a rainbow, you would see a circle. Now, full stop on the end. So, I've got two great sentences in my paragraph. Now, also on my plan, I had about fog bows, didn't I? So, I need to think of a sentence to do with fog bows. Hmm, I wonder if you can think of one. I bet you've got some super ones at home. So I might say, you can also see fog bows. Or you can also get fog bows. Mm, what do you think? I'm, okay, get, sounds good. You can also get fog bows. That's a good word, isn't it? Fog bows. Now, people might not know what fog bows are. So I'm going to use my conjunction here and have that are made with fog instead of rain. That are made with fog instead of rain. Let's write that down. That are made ooh, with fog instead of of rain. I could even add an exclamation sentence on the end. How cool is that? I'm going to add that on. How cool is that? Really important that I have that is that part on there to make an excl exclamation sentence. There we go. Let's read it back through and check that our paragraph makes sense. Ooh, can't see the bottom bit, can you? There we go. So, did you know that rainbows are not actually an arc? If you were above a rainbow, you would see a circle. You can also get fog bows that are made with fog instead of rain. How cool is that? Now, it's your turn to write your second paragraph. Put me on pause and write it now. How did you get on, everybody? I bet you've got some amazing paragraphs about rainbows, maybe even fog bows or the lunar one too. If you want to write your third paragraph, put me on pause again and carry on. If you're ready for your conclusion, carry on watching. I'm gonna go down to my next line now. So the reader will know that we're coming to an end. It's really important that I keep looking at my plan though, so I'm having a little look. I said rainbows are incredible. They are, aren't they? Um, but we don't always get to see one. So this is where I could use that conjunction if again. So rainbows are incredible sights. I'm gonna start with that. Rainbows are incredible sights. Here we go, capital R. Rain 
So, ah, now incredible. Let's break it down. In, cred, i, bull. Even though it's a long word, we can still spell it, can't we? By breaking it into chunks, Bell. Rainbows are incredible sights, we said, didn't we? I, and I've already decided that I wanted to use the conjunction if. And I'm going to say rainbows are incredible sights if you are lucky enough to see them. Let's write that down. If you are lucky enough to see them. I keep saying it to myself so I don't forget it. If you are, oh, hold on, everybody. You are, what can I do? I can contract it. If you're lucky, nice, tall ascenders there. Enough. To, I might even change my word now as I'm writing to spot one or spot them. Rainbows are incredible sights if you're lucky enough to spot them. That's a good sentence, isn't it? Where would I get my pink? Should I put some on? Well done. It would be for that if. I imagine I'd also get some for that super contraction because it's great to use everything we've learned from other lessons in our ones today as well. Now, I'm looking back at my plan. Oh, I wanted to say something about finding out more. So where would people find out more about rainbows? Hmm. You got any ideas? I know, the Met Office website. So if people wanted some more detailed information, they could go and look there. So I'm going to say, find out more about rainbows. I'll start with that. Find out more about rainbows. Find, put my capital letter out. Or, or. Mm, that doesn't look right to me. Oh, it needs an E on here. Thank you, everybody. Find out more about rainbows. I'll shout it out. Rainbows. By, where did we say? Looking at the Met Office website. By looking. Looking at the now Met is all capitals. Okay, because it stands for a longer word. Office website. Oh, that's a long word. Let's break it down. Website. I can do web. I can do site. Oh, it's that splitty, I think. Yeah, that looks right to me. So find out more about rainbows by looking at the Met Office website. Full stop. I think I've finished, don't you? So it's your turn now to write your conclusion, to finish your amazing piece of work. Put me on pause now and write your conclusion. I'm just going to share my screen again now. So we can finish our lesson. Here we go. Now, if you needed a reminder of what to do today um, for our different chili levels, it's here on the screen. So it'd be great if you are chili one, just to write um, your sentences, try and use when and because. Um, if you're chili two, you could write your second and third paragraph if you wanted to do two more paragraphs. Um, and make sure you're including when, if, that, and because, and include a conclusion if you can. If you're free to leave, can you complete your explanation text, maybe include a question, and add any diagrams or illustrations. So tomorrow is going to be a really exciting day of fun to be had at home. So we finished our writing year two work for this week, and it would be great to join you, um, see you all tomorrow for the exciting surprise. Up next is the bear in the piano. Now I know we don't normally do reading on a Thursday, do we? But because it's an exciting day tomorrow, the bear in the piano will be online for you today. Have a super rest of the day, everybody, and I'll see you soon.